Hey, welcome to World Entertainment. And Star Wars Celebration has just taken place in London. And during it, we were given the reveal that they are working on not one, not two, but as they seem to love to do, announce three films. That's right. But the first one is the big one. As it's confirmed, Daisy Ridley is returning as Ray. Sweet Jesus. These people do not have a clue about what the fans want and like. Now, first things first, this image is doing the rounds of what was supposedly taken at celebration, showing and depicting a pregnant Ray. I first was made aware of this image by seeing a video from Anna, that Star Wars girl, who apparently got the image sent to her by someone at the event, confirming it was real. However, this image appears not to be. Number one, they don't even have a script for the film yet. So they're definitely not shooting anything. Could it be an AI generated image as a promotional image from Lucasfilm? Sure. However, I think it's pretty clear that the image is fake, but more so, Kathleen Kennedy gives us a synopsis basically of what this movie will be when it's set and never mentions that Ray will be pregnant in the movie. You think that would be one of the big things that would be announced. And no one seems to really be running with this story about a pregnant Ray. So I, I feel pretty confident saying it's a fake image. Probably made to try and troll YouTubers. But either way. So the new movie. This apparently is the movie that Damien Lindelof was working on. That he walked away from. So it's been written by Stephen Knight. And it will be directed by Charmaine Aboyd Ch uh, Chennai. The racist activist. Yay. So what can we expect from this movie? Well, Kathleen Kennedy gave us a bit of highlights of what this movie is. And she says. We're 15 years out from Rise of Palpatine. Skywalker for anyone that is really curious so we're kind of post war post first order and the Jedi are in disarray aren't they always it just seems to be the thing Disney want to do and there's a lot of discussion around who are the Jedi what are they doing what's the state of the galaxy and she's attempting to rebuild the Jedi Order based on the books, based on what she promised Luke. So that's where we're going. She obviously is Rey. What promise to Luke? I don't recall her promising anything to Luke. And would these be... She's going to try and rebuild based on the books that she stole from Luke. Remember? Luke tried to destroy them. Because that's who he was. Why do we even call him Luke? Jake. Jake Skywalker. It wasn't Luke Skywalker. Last we saw him was in Return to Jedi 40 years ago. But she. Ray. Has managed to do what Luke didn't. Rebuild. The Jedi Order. Remember how Luke. Gave up. Himself to Vader. To be brought before. The Emperor. To convince. His father. Anakin Skywalker. To push forward. And destroy Vader. And become Anakin again. Because Luke sensed a glimmer of hope. He said, I still feel the good in you. 
he still felt the conflict of Anakin and Vader and was willing to sacrifice his life in the hope that Vader would be destroyed and Anakin would triumph. And he succeeded. This is the same guy who, because his nephew had a bad dream, wanted to kill him. And in doing so, destroyed the Jedi Order. But okay, never fear, because the new, and they call her Jedi Master Rey, is here to rebuild the Jedi Order in this new movie. I'm sorry, when did Rey even become a Jedi? Never mind Jedi Master. She had no training. People go, Leia trained her. Leia had her running around the forest. That was it. That's not training. This is also the same character who was able to defeat a Sith Master in the very first combat they had. Come on. So, Daisy Ridley is back to save Star Wars. Set 15 years after the rise of Palpatine. Surely then this would just be episode 10, but apparently it isn't. No word on what other idiots from the sequel trilogy will show up. And they did get asked, would Luke appear? And Kathleen Kennedy says, we don't know whether we're doing flashbacks or going to have force ghosts. Blah, blah, blah. So they're saying, we don't want him back. And if they do, they'll just continue to show him. The other two films they announced was one was going to be from James Mangold, set before the High Republic. I believe it's 2,500 years before the High Republic era. Which means they're going and bastardizing yet another extended universe book. Because there is a book set in that time. In that exact date of uh, time between now and then. Uh, that's all that's known about that movie. And the other one is going to be from uh, Dave Filoni. Will be directing and this one is the one that is going to tell, especially uh, normies, uh, there's no point in you seeing it unless you've watched all of the shows. Because it's going to be the compilation of The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka, and probably the likes of The Bad Batch and shit. Are you excited yet? No. Me neither. Anyway, with that... I'll leave it there for this one. So cheers. And I'll catch you in the next one. And don't forget. The force is not female.